Each week, we bring you stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Aubrey, tonight we head to the wine country where families were devastated two weeks ago by wildfires where 42 people perished and 7,000 homes were destroyed. Tonight we visit the Cardinal Newman football team where five players lost their homes and the team lost their school. What does football really mean when there is such tragedy in your community? When fires tear through neighborhoods, when people die, when homes are destroyed and memories are dissolved into smoke, disintegrated into ash. To these players from the Cardinal Newman football team, football means everything. 90 of the school's 620 students lost their homes, five on the football team, including starting quarterback Bo Barrington. I mean, I just think we feel bad for each other, and we all know the devastation, but I think we're going to pull together, and everything's going to be all right. The team was back on the practice field last week. The field and practice time a gift from El Molino High School. When you see that, you just you, it's it's heartwarming because you're in need and 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 people didn't wait for us to call them. They called us and said, "How do we help?" And there's multiple schools that did that. So it's just you're proud to be a part of the, the community that uh, that reaches out to people in need. Much of Cardinal Newman High School was destroyed in the fire. The entire school now displaced, along with many of the families. It all happened so suddenly. I got woke up, woke up early in the morning around like 4 o'clock when my dad, uh, he heard uh, strong winds and uh, he looked outside and uh, our fence was like flipped over like by the house and uh, we went outside and just saw our neighbors running, screaming, yelling fire. Embers basically falling onto my house. My neighbor's house had already gone up and everything. We, we basically had like two or three minutes before it was about to hit our house. Um, just get out. We knew our house was going to be gone when we came back, so we just needed to get out of there. A chaotic night where Nico's father decided to try and go back to their home to see what he could save. Instead, he ended up saving two lives. A young girl, um, she was literally crawling on the ground in the middle of the street and burn marks. Her arms were all burned, her legs, and uh, she had an elderly father that was like trying to help her, but Ambers are flying everywhere, there's burn marks all over. They were crying out for help. When I seen that, I just instantly went to help. So I threw some things out the front seat and put her in the front seat and her father, and they just held the door because they were crammed in there, and we just wheeled it out of there. There was no time to gather belongings, just enough time to get in a car and speed away, leaving behind a home and a lifetime of memories. I went back, actually, the morning that we got evacuated because no one was there, and just saw my house burn to the ground, watched everything turn to ash, and, uh, they haven't let us back in because it's still in the evacuated zone, so I haven't been able to go back yet. The next day I went back um, and it's like a bomb was dropped on it. All of Coffee Park is just destroyed. You can't, I couldn't recognize my own house. So there it was this past Monday night, a high school football game being played. Nico Kitchen wearing number 21 because his number 15 jersey was burned in the fire. First responders being honored before the game two teams devastated by fires meeting on a football field. It, it's opening hearts. It's giving you something to smile and have a good time about. It's bringing everybody together again. The community has pitched in and donations and help have come to this area from all over the world. These people are Sonoma strong. They will persevere. Uh, it's crazy how much like the community and like fan and friends and family have just came together to help everyone out. Like. Basically everyone in Santa Rosa has came here and helped us and there are everyone supporting everyone now. And a football game was played. For this shining moment, the devastation just down the street seemed miles away. When the game ends, these people will go back to dealing with the task of rebuilding their lives, their homes, their school. But for today, football means so much. The players are right now taking classes online. School administrators are working hard to get the school rebuilt but still so much uncertainty there, but playing that game Monday night was a huge start in rebuilding their lives. And of course, we'll have the full game highlights later in the show. Thanks, Robert. You bet.